Hi Stampers, it's super awesome Stamper Shirley Merker. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Sun Prairie, Wisconsin, USA. Thanks for joining us on our global SU vlog hop. It's a hop where we go through everybody's YouTube channels and see what everybody else is creating with Stampin' Up! products. So this is the design that I'm sharing with you today. So let's get started. I am using the stamps from the Dragonfly Garden stamp set. So the tall one, the words, and then that's it actually. Those are the two that I'm using. And also the coordinating dragonfly punch. I'll be using just, I'll be punching out small dragonflies only. So why don't I get started with the punch and that way I can get out of my workstation. So I'm just using a scrap of flirty flamingo cardstock, passing it through the backside and just punching out two of those minis and we love minis uh, mini anything we seem to really like so i'm happy that they included a mini dragonfly in that punch all right next step is to go through all my paper layers so i'm going to pull this back in and show you my whisper white piece borders at the top and the bottom with a little bit of the blacks peeking through on either side so it's the same size whisper white piece for the front and the inside. So it measures four inches by five and a half inches or 10 centimeters by 14.8 centimeters. So I've got two of those and let's do some stamping. Well, I've got that piece out. So I'm going to stamp using the Memento ink pad. And that's because I'm picking up the black tones in the designer series paper. And positioning it to the left of that of the whisper white what I like about this stamp is that you don't have to have it perfectly straight up and down because all of the foliage is kind of going every which way so we're done with that one and then the stamp the sentiment as well you don't have to have it perfectly straight because there's cursive writing in there so that's a nice feature I like to look for in my sentiments and I'm just going to nestle that to the top of the cone flower. And then I'm going to close up my Memento ink pad because I don't want to get black ink everywhere and stain my clothes. All right, next piece would be our pattern paper. It's the striped piece. So that's on the other side and the flamingo, flirty flamingo, and then basic black is striped on the other side. So I just wanted a little strip. So my strip measures one inch by five and a half inches or two and a half by 14.8 centimeters. And it runs from the top of the Whisper White to the bottom. And I'm just placing it so there's a little bit of the Whisper White peeking out on the edge right there. All right, next up, I chose my, our square doilies. So they come in a square. And I'm just using a one corner. So cut it at a diagonal and then cut a little triangle off of it. I'm gonna tuck it in the corner right there. And to attach that, since it's a vellum doily, we're gonna hide it behind something. In this case, the something is that ribbon. So just one glue dot in the corner and then line it up with your designer series paper and the bottom edge of your Whisper White. So it looks like that. All right, next grab some white ribbon. So this ribbon, let me add a little adhesive there before I talk about the ribbon. This ribbon is part of a combo pack. And I'm pretty sure it's the playing with patterns. If not, I'll add a comment below. It'll pop up on the screen there. So I know it's a combo pack because there is no description on the roll. So it's a combo pack from one of the collections. And here is the second piece of ribbon. I know this one is not in a combo pack because it is individually marked with all of the sale details. Okay, so what I did was attach a little bit of adhesive to secure the back side. And then since I'm doing a faux bow with two different ribbon types, I want to make sure this back side of this white ribbon is secure. So I'm just putting a piece of tear and tape over that ribbon. And this tear and tape will also act as the 
adhesive to secure the whisper white to the card front. Okay, so this is the crinkled seam binding in white. And I tend to tie my bows or tie my ribbon directly from the roll so that I don't waste any. And all Fobo is, is a knot. Just wrap it under the first piece of white and then just tie it. And I just wanted a little tiny, again, in the beginning of the video, I said we like our minis. So we like to see mini things. So just keep on pulling that knot tight, however you like it, just so that the Whisper White is cinched. There, and then cut off your tail. And I chose to not do angle tails. I chose to do straight tails. Let me grab my flirty flamingo so you can see that. I chose to do a straight tail so that it mimics the straight line and the stripe. All right, I think we're moving on to trying to attach it to our card base. So basic black card base. And if you work in metric, it's whatever your basic, whatever your standard card base is. So I'm in the US, so it's an A2 card base for me. And it'll just get placed on the front like that. So I can pull off those tear and tape strips. And then center it on the front. And I find that if I can lay the cardstock flat, it's a little easier for me to make sure everything's straight. So I'm just eyeballing left to right, top to bottom, pressing down. And once that um, tear and tape is down, there's no moving your, your cardstock. All right, so we're almost done. We've got our little dragonflies here to attach. So let's just put both of them on a glue dot. Grab our take your pick tool. I just find it easier to place things using your take your pick tool. One there. And then the inside is the Whisper White. Same size as our front. So four by five and a half inches or 10 by 14.8 centimeters. Again, top to bottom, left to right. All right, so since I had to make two cards here, once I cut this strip off of patterned paper, you had a square left. So I cut this square down and that's what's up here decorating the upper corner. So this little tiny piece is a half inch by one inch or it's 1.2 by 2.5 centimeters. So one less thing to go in the scrap pile, plus it decorates, it brings a little bit of the outside to the inside. And then again with your take your pick tool so you can put that where you where it works last little detail would be the champagne rhinestones so i placed one over the dragonfly and then i placed one on the corner of the doily and it just kind of brings your eye to the bottom of the card and also provides a little bit of adhesive. If you grab some of the vellum doily and some of the paper behind it, it'll help secure that doily down. So there's my card for our Global SU Vlog Hub. So it uses the Dragonfly's Punch and the Dragonfly Garden from the new January to June spring catalog for 2020. It also features the pattern paper from the Celebration pack. So I'm just going to show you, this is what's on the opposite side of that black and white stripe. All right, and the Celebration paper pack is called Flower and Field. So if you purchase the stamp set and the punch, stamp set and punch, and then add a couple of the ribbons, and the doilies, you're gonna meet your celebration minimum in order to earn this pattern paper pack for free. So that's during celebration 2021. We just wanted to give you a little sneak peek with this video on some of the supplies that you can earn free and then also purchase starting in January. 
All right, thanks for watching and make sure you hit the subscribe and notify bell so that you can be notified when I load new content to my YouTube channel. All right, have a happy day and we'll stink with you soon. Bye.